Hey guys, Shrapnel here, and I'm going to turn that off so that way you can actually see my eyes for somewhat. Anyways, so, room's a bit of a disaster area because I'm in the progress of a move. But, that's not going to affect this video that much. So, many of you know, being there's not many of you, know that I'm in love with my 940. However, through use, I have found two things that bother me. The grip seems to be lacking. Sometimes the cuts I'm making are very hardcore, where I need to bear down, and this handle is just not conducive for that. I believe that's the correct word. There's just not enough meat there. And the uh, blade profile. It's a very stout blade, but it's not very wide. Makes wood carving, which is something I enjoy, and I use my EDC knife to do. Not the best at that. So, what did I do? Well, I was on Knife Traders, it's a buy sell community on Facebook, and picked up this. This is the Benchmade Griptilian, but instead of the regular Mel Pardu, it's the Doug Ritter in S30B. It's not the current one, which is M390, this is still S30B, which honestly I'm okay with. It, it has aftermarket scales. It's not going to show up well on camera, but they're it's like a jade and black. It's really nice. And then it has the green backspacers that you find on the 940-2. I don't think they're quite the same color, but I could be wrong. I added a deep carry clip and I changed the thumb stud from silver to black. This is very comfortable to hold because it has it does not have the jimping up here. My other griptonian is my mini grip is packed so I can't demonstrate that, but I'll do a full on comparison once my move is complete. It free drops. I'll grab this. This is my to-do list. As you can see. And I'll show you how it carries. So not much is sticking out. Compare it to the 940. The 940 carries much deeper but this is certainly tolerable. I have found that I prefer loop over pocket clips. They don't need to carry super deep, I just prefer the loop over, it just feels more secure. Because the way I see it is your pants are, your pocket is pinning the screws against the handle, against uh, the knife which makes it hold in a little better. I could be completely wrong, but whatever. That being said, this solved a lot of my issues, my very minor issues with the 940. I still like it, it's just this, for all intents and purposes, is superior. A G10 Griptilian with a good blade steel is more superior to the 940 for more day-to-day -day tasks. The 940 is a very excellent EDC in an urban environment, which I am currently in. However, I'm moving back to a rural environment, so something like this makes a lot more sense. This would certainly do the trick as well, but I'm gonna just carry this. I'm still going to carry this on occasion, but this will replace it for the time being until I put this through its paces and see how I really feel.
when I got it, it had a mirror edge. I got it used, obviously. So, I'm not sure what sharpening system they used. It looks like either an Apex, KME, or maybe even a Wicked Edge. All I know is it was very precise and near mirror, mirror so I know it wasn't a factory edge. I've since uh, used it and had to resharpen it almost immediately because I had to cut open sandbags. Yeah, I've done that before. I need to learn my lesson, but this is what I had on me. So I use this. It is quite heavy, I will admit. It's Honestly, I could say it's probably heavier, if not equal to a tenacious. But, look at the size of that blade. That's a massive blade. Three and a half inches. I'd say the widest point, which is right here, is probably an inch and a quarter, maybe. The stock, pretty basic, run of the mill, same as the 940. But what's killing it is this handle. I don't, you're not probably not gonna be able to see inside here, but this is, these are just two solid hunks of G10, which don't help. So now we'll do a proper in the pot. Like so. Move my stuff around. And you can see it carries quite well. When I was looking at the pictures of this, I did not know what the color of the handle was. I thought it was like a black and the maybe gray. But when I got it out of box, I was pleasantly surprised that it was the jadish green. I'm a real sucker for green, which I've spoken to in a past video, I believe. I'll do a cut test. This is uh, laminated paper. I still haven't gotten quite to spec. Because, like I said, I'm kind of packed. So, my sharpening kit is packed. Most of it. Uh, my, when I was done, I was pleasantly surprised that I had not yet packed my sharp maker, but I had packed my strop. So, this is not stropped. So, that I need to fix. But for the time being, it has a workable edge. I also have not packed this for the same re for that reason. Because this is my go-to. On the road trip, I'm probably actually going to just keep this in my pocket because it's more comfortable while driving. But we'll see. I will be riding with my mother, who's a knife junkie. Well, I'm not a junkie, but she no she likes knives. So. She wants to see how these perform. She wants to see what these are like. Anyways, so that's just my initial impressions and a minor update on what's going on with me. And my allergies are acting up, so I'm a little stuffed up. Yeah, so the Benchmade Reptilian 552 uh, RSK, I believe. Thanks for watching.